Hello everyone, Brad Logan here from Vaught Hemingway Stadium at Hollingsworth Field. One final time tonight, it's Alabama 30, Ole Miss 24. The Rebels had a perfect opportunity at the end of the game. Passes fall short. Lane Kiffin notes in the press conference that Quinshawn Judkins, a talented freshman running back, was simply out of gas. We're grateful for our sponsorship tonight. Our final report coming to you on behalf of Bet Online, Bet Online, where the game starts, and also our good friends over at Kessinger Real Estate, specifically Debbie Johnson. Debbie Johnson, our real estate agent here on the Logan Media Network. She can be your real estate agent today. Just shoot us a direct message at Brad Logan COTE, and we'll get you all of her contact information. The number one real estate agent here in the city of Oxford and all across the state of Mississippi. The Rebels tonight did a great job running behind Quinshawn Jenkins, but I'll be honest, I really thought defensively the Rebels played incredibly well, holding Alabama to right around 100 yards rushing. We felt like coming into the game, it would be a game in which Gibbs, their running back, would have a field day. That wasn't the case. I thought Troy Brown, linebacker, laid it all on the line, along with J.J. Pegues, played so well. Cedric Johnson, we knew he would be coming in with a banged up right ankle. He gave it everything he had. I thought the Rebels played really well tonight. They just could not come away with the victory. An opportunity in the end. And here's the thing. A good season is still on the horizon for, for this Rebel team. They can feel finished with 10 wins, possibly make an access bowl as they'll head over to Arkansas and face a really good Fayetteville, Arkansas, a really good Arkansas team, a Razorback team that played well against LSU, just could not generate any offense. If this Rebel team plays like it did today, they should finish the remaining two games 2-0. Two and oh. Lane Kiffin noted in the press conference tonight, when someone asked about, do you feel like you're kind of getting over the hump? Uh, do you feel like this team played well enough to win? This, that, and the other. He essentially said, there are no moral victories. We came into the game today to win the game, and we're 0-1 today. Well, the Rebels will look to go 2-0 and oh to uh, finish out the season and finish 10-2. and two. Nice effort today for Ole Miss, but they fall short to the Alabama Crimson Tide, and Nick Saban wins another one over one of his assistants. Grateful once again for our partnership with Bet Online. Bet Online, where the game starts. You use that 50% uh, uh, welcome bonus code. That's Believe50. That's B L E A V 50. Save 50% on your very first sports bet. Also grateful for our partnership with Debbie Johnson. Debbie is our real estate agent here at the Logan Media Network. She can be your agent today. Full coverage from the game today on Inside the Rebels, an affiliate of 24-7 Sports and Rebs247.com. You can get the entire breakdown of everything that was said in the postgame press conference. And also, there's a game thread there, and we'll have a recruits reaction tomorrow. It was a huge day for recruits on campus here at Ole Miss, and a number of players came in town. We'll have all of their reactions to the game today. Also excited about our Mike and Shay show coming on the Believe in Ole Miss podcast, and we'll have a full gamut of podcast shows next week. Excited to visit with some of our friends from up in northwest Arkansas as we talk about the Hogs and the Rebels. Coming up Saturday night from Donald W. Reynolds Razorback Stadium in Fayetteville, Arkansas. We'll keep you posted right here on the Believe in Ole Miss podcast and also the Logan Media Network. Talk to you soon.